Be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. O Christ our Lord, though you are God, you became man. Make us worthy to rejoice on this feast of your glorious birth. And with Mary, your mother, and with Joseph, your chosen one, to thank, praise, and adore you, crying out with the angels, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and good hope to all. We glorify you, your Father, and your Holy Spirit forever. Amen. 
Peace be with the church and her children. Let us raise glory, honor, and praise to the Father who in his love sent his only begotten Son to us and to the Son who was born of the Virgin Mary in Bethlehem and to the Holy Spirit who fills us with joy, peace, and holiness on this feast. To the good one be glory and honor on this feast and all the days of our lives, now and forever. Amen. Glory to thanks to you, eternal Son, you are without beginning or end. You are the hidden light who shines upon the world, and the Ancient of Days, born as a child from the daughter of David. Today we celebrate the mystery of your love for us, proclaiming, You are wonderful, O God, you became man, and yet you are still God. You are wonderful, O God, you came down to us and were born in a manger, yet you filled heaven and earth with your glory. You are wonderful, O God, the angels, shepherds, and magi came to adore you. By your birth you tore down the wall, separating heavenly and earthly beings, reconciling heaven and earth. By your birth you brought together those who are far and those who are near to celebrate your feast. At your birth the angels announced to the shepherds, To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. Now, O wondrous child, we ask you with the fragrance of this incense to help us to understand the mystery of your incarnation. Forgive our sins, free us from all distress, and remember our departed who have gone to their rest, hoping in you. We raise glory and thanks to you, to your Father, and to your Holy Spirit forever. We adore you, O Son of the Father, from all eternity, and the Son of the Virgin born in time. When you became flesh, our eyes were able to see God, bringing us closer to the one who dwells in the heights. 
With the light of your knowledge, you enlightened our minds with the knowledge of the One who is beyond our understanding. Accept our incense, forgive our sins, and grant rest to our departed. We raise glory and thanks to you, to your Father, and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Kaddishat, aloho kaddishat, chayalatono kaddishat, lo She hold the tilled men, but David it raham alayn. Kadishat aloho kadishat, chayalatano kadishat laumaho yuto. She hold the tilled men, but David it raham alay. Kadishat aloho, kadishat chayalatano, kadishat lo mahoyoto. She hold the tilled men, but that we eat Holy and immortal Lord, sanctify our minds and purify our consciences, that we may praise you with purity and listen to your holy scriptures, to yielding glory forever. One, two, Foretold by Isaiah, wonderful his name shall be. Christ is born of a virgin, as a child God is revealed. Reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Hebrews. Baruch Glory to the Lord of Paul and the Apostles. May the mercy of God descend upon the reader, the listeners, and upon this parish and her children forever. Brothers and sisters, in times past, God spoke in partial and various ways to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, he spoke to us through a son, whom he made heir of all things, and through whom he created the universe, who is the refulgence of his glory, the very imprint of his being, and who sustains all things by his mighty word. When he had accomplished purification from sins, he took his seat at the right hand of the majesty on high, as far superior to the angels, as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, this day I have begotten you? Or again, I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. And again, when he leads the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all the angels of God worship him. Of the angels, he says, He makes his angels winds, and his ministers a fiery flame. 
but of the Son. Your throne, O God, stands forever and ever, and a righteous scepter is the scepter of your kingdom. You loved justice and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, anointed you with the oil of gladness above your companions. And at the beginning, O Lord, you established the earth, and the heavens are the works of your hands. They will perish, but you remain, and they will all grow old like a garment. You will roll them up like a cloak, and like a garment they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will have no end. Praise be to God always. For the proclamation of the gospel of our Savior, announcing life for our souls, we offer this incense and ask for your mercy, O Lord. Peace be with you. From the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke, who proclaimed life to the world, let us listen to the proclamation of life and salvation for our souls. Remain silent, O listeners, for the Holy Gospel is about to be proclaimed to you. Listen and give glory and thanks to the Word of the Living God. The evangelist Luke writes, in those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the entire world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea to the city of David, that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and of the family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his wife, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she brought forth her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region, living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good tidings of great joy that will be for all the people. For today, in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you who is Messiah and Lord. And this shall be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth 
peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels went away from them to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go then to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went in haste, and they found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And to Mary, Mary kept all these things reflecting on them within her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. This is the truth, peace be with you. Praise and blessings to Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, for giving us his birth of life. Praise and blessings to Jesus Christ, In the past, and in diverse manners, God spoke to us through the prophets. But now, in these our days, has spoken to us in his Son. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. This opening of St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews, because these are the very first lines, is summing up the whole vision of what is going to be read that we've seen often. The beginning of the season of announcements just before we began announcements, we had the Sundays of the church. If you recall, we were reading Hebrews. This whole week preparing for the nativity of our Lord has also been Hebrews. Hebrews gives all of these examples of the saints who have gone before the coming of our Lord, who waited And in their faith for the Messiah, never saw him, never received him, but died in hope that he was still to come. And so St. Paul goes through these different individuals, especially the readings this week. But the whole vision of our Lord's priesthood that we read on the Sundays of the church, the examples of the saints, the heavenly temple, this whole reconcile, reconciliation of heaven and earth, which we have in the Husoyo reflected, of the joining of what is divine and hidden and the earthly where we live, that these two being brought together into a single unity is all encompassed in these first lines, that in the past, God spoke to us in fragmented ways, we could say, through prophets, through other men, And on occasion, also through prophetesses, through women, Deborah being one of the most famous in the Old Testament. God spoke to us, though, through people, through other human beings, using human words and merely human words, but expressing something unseen. But now, he says, in these are days, he has chosen to speak to us personally in his Son. It's a very, very beautiful image. And what we can take from this on Christmas is when we celebrate this, and I've told you you this over the weeks, is it's not the celebration of a birthday. I had told them before we came out, I wanted to do the full in sensations of what we call the metani. If I didn't have a thurible in one hand, we go down on all fours with your forehead to the ground. We do it for the opening of the tomb on Easter Sunday. We do it on Good Friday before the Crucified One. And in this also, because this is the beginning of this story in which God speaks to us personally, in the Word Himself. 
And so the great aspect of, of Christmas is not the story of a mother and a baby at a feeding trough and we can't find place at the local Hampton Inn. Those are details and they're true, but that's not the story. The story is God who pulls open that veil and who self, himself speaks to us. And in time, he speaks to us gently. He comes in the most non-threatening manner possible. A baby. Keeps you up all night, cries a lot, takes a lot of work, but no one feels threatened by a baby. And that is God's desire to communicate to us, is to understand that his word. He goes on, St. Paul goes on to say, he is the effulgence. He is the radiance of his beauty and his power. And yet, it's a baby. So that even that power and that majesty not be threatening. So that what we celebrate truly on the glorious nativity is the transcendent vision of the hidden one, the word, who enters into time for us. But the important point that we take as we kneel before the crib is that transcendence is not just to reveal transcendence to us, but it is meant to enter into our lives to allow us to ascend, to transcend beyond that merely fragmented human reality that we live in. And hence, within the prayer that we have of the Husoyo, it says, O oh God, you came among us to bring together heaven and earth, to join into one. But that oneness is not just a one-way revelation. It is meant for us to be received, to be cherished. And of course, the word cherished, shahir, so to truly hold it as being dear. And in that reception of the word, it allows us by grace to be transformed and to return in that transcendence. And that becomes the full effect of that joining of heaven and on earth. That is the grace of Christmas, to allow us to go beyond our normal, oftentimes even not just simply human, sometimes just real petty concerns. We're so fixed into this world of matter. But grace comes allowing us to have vision to see beyond the worries, the anxieties, the distress of this world. And God knows we've had enough of them in this year. But God is as omnipotent and his power and his majesty is just as unlimited as it has always been in eternity. And that grace to transform us and to allow us to step out of that anxiety, all of that distress because of the transformation of our vision is just as real. So on this evening, to take a few moments to look upon the crib each year we try to make it a little more Syriac and esoteric, I suppose. We are still trying to figure out how to make Jesus, Joseph and Mary into wheels of flame. So if you remember the hymn of entrance on Genealogy Sunday, this past Sunday, it refers to them in the crib as being wall, wheels of fire because it compares the two of them of seraphim who bear up the glory of the hidden one which someday we'll do a sermon, is all hooked together with the Merkabah and Jewish mysticism of the Kabbalah and everything else. But just to understand, we are trying. And every year we always apologize because the angel only speaks Latin with the glory and excelsis deo. Someday we'll have him up there with Teshbuchto. So anyways, Laloho. So praise be to God. But they're hard to find those statues. But we are working at it. But it is also not just simply to make it serious, but it's to understand truly what we celebrate this night is that what God gives us by revealing his transcendence is to give us the healing to transcend out of our mere human condition and to become truly in the glory those healed children of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.
We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only God, the Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for our sin and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and for our sake, he was crucified in the conscious fight. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in the court of the scriptures. He is ascended to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will not have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and we look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Itelot madem he daloho, halwot aloho dam chade tanot. Wenyok su go tai bo tau ke ulal bai toch veskud a payek no bor bor You should have the sheets for the transfer hymn for the nativity. Your pews? Did we get them? No? No, sorry. False alarm. They'll be there tomorrow morning. The Lord... The Lord reigns clothed in majesty. Accepted the offerings of our ancestors. Now accept these offerings that your children have brought to you out of their love for you and for your holy name. Shower your spiritual blessings upon them, and in place of their earthly gifts, grant them life and your imperishable kingdom. Amen. As we remember our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ and his plan of salvation for us, we recall upon this offering all those who have pleased God from Adam to this day, especially Mary, the Blessed Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the Chosen One, our Holy Father, Saint Mary, and Saint Jude. Remember, O God, the children of the Holy Church, our fathers and mothers and our brothers and sisters, both the living and the departed especially those for whom the sacrifice is offered. Remember also all those who share with us today in this offering.
Continue with the anapha of St. John Chrysostom on page 876. 876. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Lord God and Father, holy and glorious is your name. You deliver those who love you from all that is contrary to your will. May we who have remained in your divine love be made worthy to give one another the greeting of peace with a holy kiss. May we always speak words of peace, think of peace, and work for peace. Through the grace of your only Son and his love for all people, we raise glory to you and to your living Holy Spirit, now and forever. Peace to you, o holy altar of God. Peace to the holy mysteries placed upon you. Peace to you, O server of the Holy Spirit. Let us give the greeting of peace to our neighbor with love and faith that are pleasing to God. O Lord, on high, hidden from all creation, you are peace, reconciling those who are enemies. You are forgiveness to those who sin. You are comfort to those who are sorrowful. Open the door of your mercy to our petitions, and in the abundance of your grace, accept our prayers. Make us children and heirs of your kingdom through the grace of your only Son, and his love for all people, and through your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, you are adored by all angels, bless you, humanity exalts you, and all creation glorifies you. Look upon your children who call out to you. With purity and holiness, may we offer you an acceptable sacrifice that we may raise glory to you, to your only Son, and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. The love of God the Father, and the grace of the only begotten Son, and the communion and indwelling of the Holy Spirit, be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. And with your Spirit, let us lift up our thoughts, our minds, and our hearts. Give them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord with reverence and worship Him with humility. It is right and just. Truly it is right and just to thank, adore, glorify, and bless the majesty of the one consubstantial Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. A majesty that does not need our glory or become greater with our things. O Lord, those who sing your praises are calmless, and they cry out with angelic voices, and with sweet melodies proclaiming.
Glory to you, O God, the Heavenly Father, for you have exalted our weak human nature. In your mercy you sent your only Son into the world for our salvation. He dawned from the Holy Virgin like a ray of light from a bright cloud. He took the form of a slave, yet truly he is the Son of your majesty. He willingly became man to make us divine. He was born from a woman's womb, that we may be born again from a spiritual womb. He became our brother, so that through his grace we may become your children and heirs. He took us from being slaves and made us your children. He promised us a share in the reward that allows us to call you Abba. He cleansed us from our sins with his precious blood that he poured out for us. For he is your only Son. And sabe lahma bida kodi shoto u bara khu kodesh Waksu ya bil talmi dao kado mara Saba khu la mehne kul khun Khunu dani tao fakhru dil Dakhlu faikun wakhlaf saagiye May Takaseo may tea hab. Hosso yon how may well hoy, Nan Alam Alamin. How can no alcoso domsi men hamro men mayo? Barahu Kadesh Yabel Talmidao Karamara Sabesh Tawa Mehne Kulukhun Khonu Deni Tawa Demohu Dila Diya Tiki Khadato Dakhlu Faikun Wakhlaf Zagiye Mete Shadu Meti Hab Khusoyun Khawme wa khoyed al-alam al-ameen Amen Do this in memory of me Each time you eat this bread and drink this cup You remember my death until I come again comprehend that you willingly emptied yourself of your divine glory, who can explain your miraculous birth from a virgin, who can repay you for your saving passion which you freely endured, who can praise your plan of salvation for us. We can only ask of you, O lover of all people, that this sacrifice which we have offered be accepted on your altar in heaven the dwelling place of your hidden divinity in the company of all the angels and saints. Through this sacrifice, may we be worthy of the forgiveness of our sins. When you come to judge the living and the dead, do not pass judgment upon us, nor deny us, saying, I do not know you. On that glorious and fearful day, do not separate us from you, nor cast us out of your paradise to a place of weeping and gnashing of teeth. Rather, because of your holy name by which we have been called, look with mercy upon us. In your compassion you have made us worthy of the gift of your forgiving body and blood. So make us worthy to be one with you in holiness as you are one with your Father. 
For this your church implores you, and through you, and with you, implores your Father, saying, sinful children, receive your graces. We thank you for them and because of them. We praise you because we adore you. We glorify you. We profess our faith in you and we ask you. Have compassion on us, O God. Have mercy on us and hear us. Manin monio, manin monio, manin monio, ni te moro rojo jayo kodisho, ona gen alainu al kurbono hono. a pledge of the life to come, a body that grants us the everlasting joys of heaven, a body that renews our souls and bodies, a body that purifies us of all sin for eternal life. Amen. And that the mixture in this chalice, the blood of Christ our God, be a blood that gives new life to those who receive it, a blood that guides us to the safe harbors and the dwellings of light, a blood that renews our souls and bodies, a blood that purifies us of all sin for eternal life. Amen. O Lord, in your great mercy, when this body and blood is mingled with our bodies and souls, grant that it may be for the pardon of faults, the forgiveness of sins, and for the everlasting joy and eternal life with all your saints. Amen. We offer you, Lord God, this pure and holy offering for your holy Catholic and apostolic church, which you have redeemed. Gather her children into unity, love, and faith, and guide them in peace and in security. We offer it for the pure bishops of the true faith, Francis, the Pope of Rome, Bishara Peter, our Patriarch of Antioch, Gregory John, our Bishop, the Venerable Priests, the Chaste Deacons, the Pure Subdeacons, and all the Orders of the Church. Teach them the Word of Truth, so that they may spread it faithfully with justice and holiness. May they care for the flock that you have entrusted to them, Give them the proper means to accomplish your will and grant them a long life. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord have mercy. For the poor and the dejected, for orphans and widows, for the sick and the distressed, and for those tempted by evil spirits, be the guardian and refuge of their lives. We pray to you, O Lord. Remember the Holy Fathers, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, and confessors, especially the holy, glorious, and blessed ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. John the Baptist, the messenger and forerunner, who witnessed the betrothal of your holy church to your son, glorious St. Stephen, the archdeacon and first martyr, and all who please you and profess your name. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. All the faithful departed who have gone to you from this altar, from every place throughout the world, grant them rest in your heavenly dwellings with all your saints, and in your mercy forgive our sins and theirs. deprive us of your mercy, but keep us in the palm of your hand, lest we fall and go astray, so that we may walk on your paths, follow your ways, and do your will. 
Forgive us and our departed, and pardon all sins and transgressions hidden and seen, committed with or without full knowledge. Make us worthy of a faithful Christian death that is pleasing to you, and join us to your righteous ones, and to those who have done your will, that in us and in all things your blessed name may be glorified with the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and of your living Holy Spirit, now and forever. As it was, it is now, and shall be forever. O Lord, our Lord, you sent us your only Son, who is the radiance of your eternity, and he accomplished his plan of salvation for us, that we may come to you. May we call upon you with the prayer that he taught his holy disciples, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are God. Amen. Yes, O merciful Lord, we ask for your compassion. By your grace, make us worthy that your glorious name may be made holy in us, that your kingdom come to assist us in our weakness, and that your will dwell within us. Deliver us from all difficult temptations, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, with your only Son and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Peace be with you. O Lord God, you are good and the lover of all people. Look upon those who bow their heads before your majesty and bless them with every spiritual blessing. Do not turn us away when we approach your divine and holy gifts, and let us not be guilty of unworthily receiving the body and blood of your only Son. Rather, make us worthy to share in your holy and life-giving mysteries with purity, that we may raise glory and thanks to you, to your only Son, and to your good and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. The grace of the Most Holy Trinity, eternal and consubstantial, be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. Amen. Holy gifts for the holy, with perfection, purity, and sanctity.
one Holy Father, one Holy Son, one Holy Spirit, bless us be the name of the Lord, for he is one in heaven and on earth, to him be glory forever. Make us worthy, O Lord God, so that our body may be sanctified by your holy blood, and our souls purified by your forgiving blood. May our communion be for the forgiveness of our sins and for new life. O Lord our God, to you be glory forever.
Again and again we thank you, O Lord, and we raise glory to you for giving us your body to eat and your living blood to drink. O lover of all people, have mercy on us.
Lord Jesus, you have made us worthy to share in your holy body and in the cup of salvation. How can we repay you for these your gifts and graces and for your goodness? As you have called us to approach this life-giving banquet, make us worthy, so that your body may be mingled with our bodies and your blood with our souls, for the pardon of faults, the forgiveness of sins, and for eternal life. You are blessed and your kingdom is holy. And we raise glory to you, to your Father, and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you. O oh God the Father, we bow before you and we entrust ourselves to your care. We ask you, imploring your mercy, to rest your right hand full of blessings upon us. Assist us, protect us, bless us, and sanctify us by the life-giving cross of your only Son. We glorify and honor you, your only Son, and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. So it is lovely to have you all here with us this evening, especially some of our angels in the choir loft, our rare angels, lovely. And a Merry Christmas to you all. And of course, for the descent of our celestial flautist, we also give thanks. Thank you so much for the beauty. And before you leave, there's also the Maronite voice for Christmas that just came out this week. So I highly encourage you to grab a copy of the issue when you go out. And may God grant you many blessings through these 12 days of Christmas in radiant light and in mercy, patience, and compassion. Go in peace, my beloved brothers and sisters, with the nourishment and blessings you have received from the forgiving altar of the Lord. May the blessing of the Most Holy Trinity accompany you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the one God to whom be glory forever.